Hey, pop stars, Noah Crawford here on the set of How to Rock. So, Noah, what's, what's been your favorite episode? My favorite episode, probably Nelson's birthday. That was fun. We we actually just did that, like uh, I think it was like last week. Uh, but it was cool. We had like a bunch of Nelson-esque things around the set, so that was definitely the best episode so far. <laughs> and um. For cast superlatives, so if you were signing, you know, Symphonique or Lulu, someone like Best Dress or, you know, Class Clown, who would you sign for each person? Okay, well, Chris is the clown, totally. <laughs> uh, me and him, we actually take pride in, uh, we, we, we will do anything to make you laugh, no matter what it is, <laughs> whether it's fall down a thousand times or run into a metal gate, which we've had to do, uh, but we'll do it. We're, we're always, you know, uh, down, for, down for anything. Um... Lulu is, she's kind of like an evil genius a little bit. She's got like, I remember once I was doing schoolwork with her, and she was like, she, she I had a question, and I asked the teacher, and she just busts out the answer, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's scary. Like, she, she, and she's using all these big words I've never heard of, so uh, it's definitely Lulu. And then Halston is just like the happiest person ever. She shows up to set every day, just like in a great mood. Like a little tea. <laughs> so happy to see everybody. Sam, her smile is yeah. contagious. I swear, she's always smiling and uh, she's super fun to be around. Uh, Symphonique. Symphonique has these, like, I don't know if this counts, but she's got like, like this huge arsenal of oh. cell phone cases. <laughs> it's just like ridiculous. She's got, she's like anything you can imagine. She's got, you know, ones with pearls on it. I don't know where she gets these. She makes them at home, but they're crazy. And she got a new one every time I see her. It's really cool. And uh, who am I missing? Am I missing one? Yeah, Max. 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 He's he's always there to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. He's always like, "What's up, baby? What's going on? Are you, are you feeling down, baby?" <laughs> and uh, he's super cool. He's super, like, if you want to talk about anything, Max is the guy to go to. Mm -hmm. So if you could do a crossover episode with any other Nickelodeon show, what did you, who would you pick and why? Um, probably iCarly. Mm -hmm. I'm a big iCarly fan. I like <laughs> iCarly. Uh, but yeah, any of the other shows would be cool too. But. Uh, yeah, I got to, uh, um, we did this sort of, uh, improv class, uh, together, and Jerry Trainer from my Carly came, and, uh, he was, like, our guest teacher, I guess, I don't know, but he, he's hilarious, he's so cool, so to get to work with him, that'd be fun. So, um, if you could recreate and star in any movie from the past, what would you pick and why? Recreate and star in any, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. I love Star Wars. Uh, so probably, I'd probably just want to have any role in, in any of the Star Wars movies. Um, but I like I like a lot of movies. Like I love Lord of the Rings. Uh, a, a really recent movie, uh, District Nine. Mm -hmm. I love District Nine. Um, yeah, I'm a big I'm a big sci-fi guy. Mm -hmm. Got a thing for the sci-fi fantasy genre. So really, any movie from from those mm -hmm. Tron. Love Tron. <laughs> So if um, they're making a movie about you, who would you cast to play you? Mm. As as me, like now, as a kid, or like adult me? Either or, or both. Whatever or both? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. I'm going to cast to play me. Um, <laughs> uh, well, who I would pick mm -hmm. would probably be Michael Fassbender. Mm -hmm. He's really cool. Uh, I've seen him in like a few different things, and he's got like this this crazy, like, like just intensity, yeah. the way he says his lines. But my friends probably wouldn't pick Michael Fassbender. <laughs> They'd probably go with Jim Carrey or someone like that, which I love Jim Carrey too, so I'd be cool with that. Uh, but yeah, probably one of those guys. And who were you dying to see in concert? Am I dying to see in concert? Daft Punk. Mm. I'm a big Daft Punk fan. And uh, I actually don't know if they're, uh, if they're going on any tours anytime soon, but if they are, I'm so down. I love Daft Punk. And um, most important quality in a potential girlfriend? Most important quality? Just um, probably to have a good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, I'm all about, you know, cracking jokes and being funny and stuff. And so if there's a girl that laughs at all my jokes, she's in. She's <laughs> perfect. So I heard you also read The Hunger Games. Yes, and the you first loved one. It? I loved it. Yeah, I have. I've yet to read the next two, so like, don't spoil it for me. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for the movie. I read the first one; it was really good, and uh, uh, the movie looks really cool. The trailers, the trailers out. The trailer looks sick, so I'm excited.